Hey guys, Andy here with the John Drives YouTube channel. John is right now behind the camera and today we are looking at my 2000 BMW 323i wagon. It is my mobile detailing car and I will show you the ins and outs of the vehicle. Let's get to it. So here's the car. It is a 2000 BMW 323i wagon. I found it in Houston. It is a couple hour drives for us. Totally worth it being able to find a car that is in a manual transmission and is the wagon. So being that it is a wagon, I kind of figured I might as well take advantage of all the practicality that it has and run my mobile detailing business out of it. But I didn't want to have a big van or truck to be driving around town. So instead I figured, hey, why don't I go find a BMW, which I love, but has practicality of the wagon and just combine the two. So here's the car. It has about 78,000 miles on it. I've put about 7,000 miles on it since I first bought it back in August. So far it's been really, really good. I've had to do a couple little things here and there, just regular maintenance that you would expect with a car around the maintenance intervals that would be necessary around this age. So far the car has been really, really good. I paid $7,000 for it, so not too bad considering that it was hard to find and it is rare in the manual transmission. So here's where the magic starts. So back here, unfortunately, I do not have space for a back seat, but thankfully I'm actually making use out of it with all of my equipment. So right here we see my rigid four gallon shop back. It's what I run to vacuum all my cars. I've had this one for about two or three years and it's been absolutely excellent. So back down here you see I have about, I don't know, it's a couple hundred feet of extension cord. It does a really, really good job. I've never had problems with it. And right here I put down some kind of fabric lining that I had laying around tucked it under so that if I have any leaks or anything, it wouldn't leave marks on the leather. So right here I have my Bissell Spot Clean Pro. It is what I use to get stains out and extract all that dirt out. So far it's been really, really good. Um, I haven't used it a ton, but I've heard really good things about it and it's been great so far. So walking to the other side. So right here I have all my towels in a little bag right here. Holds it nice, fits right between the front and rear seats. So right here I have my chemical tote bag. It covers all the chemicals and a couple tools that I have in the tote bag. So right here I have all my products. They are Meguiar's. I like to run all Meguiar's just because it keeps it simple and very direct and it's very cost effective for the business. And then a couple other things that I have inside are some brushes that I use for my interior cleaning. I have a power distributor right here and then some magic erasers, gloves, and a couple other just miscellaneous things. So moving on to the back, this is where things start getting fun. Right back here, I have a 26 gallon tank that I got from Northern Tools. It has a pump connected to the side of it and it has about 70 PSI of pressure. So what I really was thinking with this vehicle was BMWs keep their batteries in the back so I can reroute some wiring to that battery to get pressure to that pump. So as you can see right here, I have the pressure hose. It has a storage compartment right here so that it doesn't move around at all. I have 35 feet of clear hose. I had to add a bit whenever, whenever I got the tank and the whole setup back here. So moving over to the pump and how I get power to the battery. As you can see right here, I have two connector cables if you're say like jump starting a car. So what you do right here is I pull back this rubber mat that I got from ECS tuning, pull this up. And as you can see, the battery is right there and accessible. So tuck that back there, lamp it on, and now we have power. So as you can see right here, we have a little switch that is already pre-wired whenever you get the tank. So right now it's priming the pump. I am low on water right now, so it is running a bit harder than usual. So as you can see right here, we have water coming out, and there you go. We can tuck everything away real neatly. And I put a little hook right here just to hang all the wiring on. So back here, kind of my original plan was to have all my wash equipment back here just to separate it and keep a little bit more organized. So right here I have my Grios Garage bag and I have some brushes for the exterior, say it's wheels or different cracks and crevices. Now moving on to the inside, I normally would have towels in here, but I currently am actually getting them washed. Usually put my mitts, my wash towels and everything down in the middle. Once again, it is a Meguiar's mitt has so far been very, very good for me for the money. So on the other end, I do store my Meguiar's wash soap. So inside here, I just have my wheel and wheel well brushes. I have an applicator pad for my tires and applicator pads for the exterior. So usually I would have my Meguiar's buckets back here. They're my house currently, but they do store really, really neatly in this little nook on top of the battery. And so finishing off back here, something that worked really conveniently whenever I got this tank was it fit really, really perfectly in the car. And so what you can do is just pull this cover over and there you go. It is stored away neatly.
So that concludes my E46 wagon setup. If you guys have any questions or comments about how I do my wash and detail process, please let us know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.